Multiboard design can often lead to connection conflicts. It happens when the pairing of net names between connectors on different boards is broken. These kinds of conflicts can affect the operability of the device, and it can happen both at the beginning of the design and appear in the following stages after changes in child projects. If any of your child projects have been changed, you should run the import from child operation in the multiboard project to make the new changes in the editor and update the connectivity data. If there are net conflicts in your design, you'll see them after the ERC rule check. In the messages window, you'll see a list of violations for each pair of pins whose connections are not identical to each other. All of these errors must be fixed or waived before completing the design. You can review and fix the conflicting connections through the Design Connection Manager tool. This tool displays a list of all the nets between all the projects in the scope of the multiboard in table form. All mismatched connections are highlighted in red, and conflicting component pins are marked with an exclamation icon. If you observe these conflicts immediately after importing changes from the child projects, you can use the Show Changes Only button to display only the connections that were changed after the last data exchange through ECO. After you've narrowed down your problem circuits, there are several options for resolving the conflicts depending on the type of connection you used. If you select a connection on an unmodified module that contains the original net name, you'll have the option of renaming the net on that module. This option sets a unique name for the mismatched net, thereby eliminating the conflict. To see more options, select the component pin on the modified module that's causing the issue, then select one of the solution options. The confirm option is used to accept that the decision to give different net names is correct and resolves the conflict. If this option is selected, the nets will be changed within the multiboard project to match the new nets in the child modules. Now if you've selected an unsuitable solution, you can always cancel it with the revert changes button. The revert variant returns the original net name mapping and accepts it as correct. With this variant, the multiboard project ignores net name changes in the child module and does not change conflicting names in child projects via ECO. The swap wires option swaps the logic wires between each other, providing a connection for the same nets and thus resolving the conflict. The swap pin option reverses the pin order on the child project connector so that the net name on both components matches the pin number. When you're resolving a conflict, consider the fact that the possible options for resolving it depend on the type of connection selected. For example, when using a direct connection, the swap wires option is not going to be available. After you've found a suitable solution, apply the changes. When your changes have been accepted, run an ERC to make sure that all the conflicts have been resolved. If you do make a decision that entitles changes within the child projects, like the swap pins option for instance, you should update all of your child projects to ensure that the nets between all of the modules are fully matched. You can update child projects by going to Design, Update Child Projects. In the ECO window, accept all of the changes, then close it. After running the ECO, you may notice that an asterisk appears on some of the schematic sheets of the child project, indicating a change in the document. When you open this document, you can see that the connector pins have been rearranged to match another module because we chose the swap pins option. Don't forget, once you've completed your changes, that you have to save all of the modified documents.